Okay, dear student, let us see what is there in this question. Uh, the uncertainty in the energy required for the pair of uh, for the pair production is given as three mega electron volt. What is the uncertainty in the lifetime of a pair? Okay, fine. So we know that uh, the uncertainty principle given by Heisenberg can be written in two ways. Um, the first is the uncertainty in the position and the uncertainty in momentum. That will be greater than h by 4 pi. Similarly, the same thing can be extended into this energy and the life uh, uh, of that particle. So that will be given by h by 4 pi. From this, we are going to understand like how to find this let us see so energy is 3 mega electron volt so we are only and only interested in the order here so we are only interested in uh, raised to the powers so uh, 3 into 10 raised to power 6 is mega electron volt can be converted into joule by using this into delta t and this is coming out to be 6.636 into 10 raised to power negative 34 divided by 4 pi by the way, we can directly say that we can find the total number of zeros there and we can click the answer here. But I think that we have to use the calculator and we should be concerned with the value, the numeric value also that we are getting because it is a possibility that there will be some one or two zeros. Uh, they will be creating problem. But when we see the options here, there is a very big gap in the powers. So clearly, uh, we can find the answer like that also. Let us see. So... I am interested in this raised to the power. So 10 raised to the power negative 24. This when goes to the other side, it will be positive 19. 6 goes to the denominator, it will be negative 6. So it is going to be negative 40. And this is 19. So clearly the answer is coming out to be nearly 21. Do you see that? 21. Now that is the problem. This is what I was telling. So let us go for complete uh, mathematical calculation. So 6.636, 10 raised to power negative 34 divided by 4 pi divided by 3 into 10 raised to power 6, 1.6 into 10 raised to power negative 19. So this and this, we can get rid of this. So that is, uh, okay. Okay, let me use the calculator. I'm sorry for that. I'm getting confused there. Okay, so the value is 6.636 divided by 4 divided by pi divided by 3 divided by 1.6. Yes, so I'm getting 0 0.11 into 10 raised to power uh, negative 34 plus 19 negative 6. So that is negative 21. Yes. So this is delta T, which is greater than or equal to this. So we are not interested in this now. So what will happen? Because whenever we want to find the order of a value, we got to have um, uh, this decimal can be placed only after one digit, one non-zero digit. So this will come out to be 1.1 into 10 raised to power negative 22. If I'm able to explain myself, isn't it? So the order will be given as 10 raised to power negative 22. Hence, the answer will be D. If the option was given as 10 raised to power negative 21, even then the answer will be D. And uh, because um, there is uh, this concept, possibility is that you would be going with 10 raised to power negative 21 by mistake. But that will be wrong. 10 raised to power 22 will be the correct answer. Okay, dear students, so this is the explanation for this. And be very careful about this. You have to calculate it properly. You cannot calculate only and only uh, the powers to 10. So because this uh, concept can be there, uh, which will be providing you with the wrong answer. Possibility is there. Okay, dear students, thanks for watching the video. This is Professor Varun. All the